Hello, my name is Deb, and I'm so glad that you could join us today. Today, we are going to make magic soup with a very special friend of mine, Chef Figaro. I'm so happy that you are able to join us today, Chef Figaro, because Chef Figaro is the only one I know that knows how to make magic soup. Magic, can you believe that? You're probably wondering what kind of magic. Well, Chef Figaro's magic soup makes you very strong and very fast. Oh yeah, you can run super fast after you eat some of his soup. Are you ready to make some with us? I hope so. First of all, you need an apron. Put on your apron. And if you'd like to put on a, a chef hat, please do. I've got mine right here. Perfect. Hmm. Now, if you have a soup pot at home, please pick up your very heavy soup pot. I think I see yours right at your feet. Mine is at my feet too. I'm going to pick mine up. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, perfect. You might need your wooden spoon. Any type of spoon will do. I know that Chef Figaro only likes to make very healthy soup because that's the most magical soup of all. Chef Figaro has chosen a few of his favorite vegetables right from the garden, of course. If you've got some in your fridge or in the garden, you can get yours as well. Chef Figaro loves yummy carrots. Very crunchy that he likes to slice and dice right into his soup. He loves to add celery. And sometimes he even likes to add onions. Uh, they make your soup very tasty. Some potatoes. And of course, he loves when you add in some tomatoes. Mmm. All of these make for a very yummy soup. Now, when you're making your soup, you need to add some water first. Let's add some water. Awesome. Sometimes you might like to add some chicken broth or some beef broth or vegetable broth instead. Whichever you like. And then Chef Figaro always adds some of his favorite spices. What are spices, you ask? Spices are dried up herbs that you can add to add some flavor. Some of Chef Figaro's favorite spices are dill. He likes basil, oregano, cilantro, parsley. Oh, there's so many to choose from. What are some of your favorite types of spices? Pardon me? Did you say rosemary? I like that one too. And what? Thyme? Oh, of course. Those are awesome choices. Let's see if we can find some more in our spice cupboard. Can you open your spice cupboard with me? Oh, I see many amazing spices that would be great for the soup. I see I've got some oregano there. Let's add some in. Some basil. And did you say rainbow spice? Ooh, that would be very yummy. And, oh, I see the chocolate spice too. Let's add some in. Excuse me, I think I heard Chef Figaro whisper something. Yes, Chef Figaro? Oh, I am so sorry. We forgot about the magic words that we have to sing. I'll show you how they go. Are you ready? You. Be my echo. I will sing first, and then you echo after me. I go first. Num 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 num. Your turn. Can I sing with you? Num 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 num. Awesome. Next part goes like this. Num 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 num. Do you want to try? 
Nom 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 nom. You are amazing. Let's try it from the very beginning. Here we go. Nom 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 nom. Yay! You did it. Now the hard part. You have to take your spices from your spice cupboard, and you have to use very, very fast hands to get the spices into the pot. Make sure they don't go out of the pot or else your mom might get mad or your dad. They might tell you to vacuum up later. Oh, just wait, excuse me. Yes, Chef Figaro? Oh, Chef Figaro wanted to see if you knew what the magic word for very fast in music is. Do you happen to know that word? Did you say Presto fast? Oh, you are amazing. You're right. Presto means very fast, as fast as a race car. Ooh, that means super, super fast. Okay, let's do this. Put your hands near your favorite spices, and on the count of three, we're going to add the spices into the soup pot. Don't spill. Using our presto fast hands. One, two, three. Go! Smell your soup. Mmm, that smells amazing. Does yours smell amazing too? Pardon? You think we should add some extra spice? Some more magic spice? Okay, let's do it. Maybe we can add some garlic too. Here we go. Smell your soup. Oh, you are right. That is amazing. Just perfect. Okay, step two. This is where you need your wooden spoon or any spoon. Now, when Chef Figaro stirs his soup, he does so in a very smooth way. Do you know the magic word for smooth? Did you say legato? Oh, that is absolutely right. It's legato. That means very smooth. And of course, Chef Figaro likes to use his magic words when he sings it. Chef Figaro, can I let them know? Yes. Oh, he's so kind. He sings, stir it up, stir it up. Can you try that with me? Make sure you stir very smoothly. Your best legato stir ever. Here we go. Stir it up. Stir it up. Taste your soup. Mmm, that is amazing. Is yours really good too? No? Maybe we should try stirring again. Let's try that. Here we go. Stir it up, stir it up. Let's taste it now. Oh, mine is even better. And it seems like yours is even better as well. Ah, huh? perfect. Okay, now step three. When Chef Figaro loves the taste of his soup, guess what he does? if he loves it <gasps> and is so excited and he thinks it's ready. He jumps up. Can you jump up? I would, but I'll spill my soup all over. He jumps up and then he uses his forte loud voice and calls out to all the people who live in the village below, in Whistler Village. You can call out to all your neighbors around you with your forte loud voice and your calling hands. This is what he sings to all of his friends below. He sings, Come taste my soup, it is so good, it is the best. And then he rubs his tummy and he goes, num 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 Can you try that too? Let's see if you can try that part from the top. Come taste my soup, it is so good, it is the best. Num 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 Wow, you did it! Now, there was a bit of a problem. When Chef Figaro called all the people from the village below, they started to run up the mountain as fast as they could. 
and he looked out of his window and he saw that there were thousands of people coming up. Oh, what is he going to do? This is a problem. What do you think you could do if you had thousands of neighbors coming to your house for soup and you only had one pot of soup? Do you have any ideas? Yes? You said make some more soup? I think you're right. Let's do that. Now, before we do, before we make more soup, remember, you have to have presto fast hands to add in the spices. Then you have a nice legato stir to stir it up. And then you have to use your forte loud voice to call all the neighbors in your neighborhood to come and have some soup. Are you ready? Let's try it from the top. Here we go. Stir it up, stir it up. Come taste my soup, it is so good, it is the best. Well, after Chef Figaro had two pots of soup, he realized that he still didn't have enough. So, when Chef Figaro still doesn't have enough magic soup, he uses his extra special magic words. Chef Figaro, do you think we should share with all of our friends the extra special magic words? What do you think? Yes. Okay, I'll let them know. They sound like this. Blah, 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 blah. Can you do that? Let's do it together. Blah, 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 blah. Perfect. Now, here's the hard part. You have to go blah, 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 yum a few times. See if you can count how many times I go blah, 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 yum. Are you ready to count? Here you count. Blah, 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 yum. Blah, 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 yum. Blah, 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 blah. Yum, yum, yum. On the word yum, Chef Figaro was placing a bowl of soup down. How many bowls of soup did he place down? Did you say five? Wow, you were really listening well. Now, did you know that every time he placed a bowl of soup down on the word yum, that each one of those bowls of soup turned into 500 bowls? That is unbelievable. Can you try counting with me? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25 hundred bowls of soup. Amazing. Let's see if you can do the magic words and put the bowls down on the word yum with me now. Yum, 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 yum. Amazing! Now, Chef Figaro didn't have the best manners. I don't know why. Instead of using one spoon and eating his soup nicely, without slurping, he used two spoons and he ate it presto fast, as fast as he could possibly eat it. I think he wanted to get as much magic soup into his body as possible. He wanted to be super strong and super fast. And when he grabbed those spoons, he sang, he said, grab your spoons and eat it, and eat it, and eat it, eat it up. It's so good, it's so good, it's so good, it's so good, eat. Oh. Are you ready to make magic soup while listening to Chef Figaro's favorite music, The Marriage of Figaro by Mozart? Let's do it. Get ready. Here we go. Stir it up, stir it up. Yum, 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 yum,
agreed that burping is not good manners. Oh, you're sorry you didn't mean to? Thank goodness. Oh, now you're probably thinking, I wonder if we could make magic soup without Chef Figaro's help. I bet you can. Should we try? Let's do it. Now for the challenge. Would you be able to sing the song in your head while doing all of the actions to Chef Figaro's Marriage of Figaro by Mozart? Let's see if you can do this. Now be careful. Usually he only lets kids that are at least 10 try this because he says it is very hard to do. Don't cry if you can't do it because you should be 10, but you, you can try it anyways. I think you could do it. Let's try together. Are you ready? Okay, here it is. The Marriage of Figaro by Mozart. The orchestral music. You ready? Put your hands in the spice cupboard. Remember, presto fast. Legato stir. Forte loud, calling out to all the people below. Here we go. <laughs> job you did. I think the chef has something to ask me. Just a moment. Yes, chef? Oh, okay, sure. Chef Figaro wants to know if you'd like to join us tomorrow because he is going to share his very special recipe and he said that he might even give you the recipe for making magic soup and we could follow along with the recipe map and then he said that we might even add in some instruments, maybe instruments that we can even make at home, really simple, easy ones, and we could play along with the music. That would be so much fun. I sure hope you can join us for lesson two. See you later.